Hey, yo, what's up, nerds? I bet you're having a hard time getting the uh, Sparks of Life stuff for your quest to get uh, gear from PvP world stuff. So I'm gonna teach you how to get it without having to kill people because obviously you cannot do that. So we're gonna get them by doing PvE. I'll show you every single way to actually get Sparks of Life. That's it, okay? See you in the video. The first way of getting sparks is still PvP sometimes, most of the time not really. If you're on the correct faction and you're actually hard, you can get them for just looting the war supplies. They come in uh, every zone basically, every couple of minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe 2 hours. Who knows, when you see it on the map, go there, pick it up, you'll get uh, quite a bit of these. You can uh, get 10 every single one you loot, even after your daily war supply uh, bonus. So you're still gonna get your Sparks of Life that way. Do it, it's very nice. Another way to get these uh, Sparks of Life are uh, the bags you find all over the place from the Expedition uh, faction. You need uh, a little bit of reputation with them and then you will see them all over the place. And also the Disturb Earth uh, Treasure, basically the Dingy Hole thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the treasure you get once you have uh, level 5 with uh, Expedition, as you can see here. You will need uh, shovels. Shovels you can get from the NPCs that sell them, which is this guy in that little tent in the base of the place, the camp, whatever you want to call it. You go to this chick, you buy the shovels, shove them up your... Um, or just use it to dig stuff up, and that's how you get sparks in another way. Next! Now, another way to get these sparks is by doing the world quests in the zone that it requires you to. So, for example, my quest is uh, uh, to get the uh, sparks in Azure Expanse because everybody, uh, the game just hates me and I have to do it here. Uh, so, if you do, even if you do races, which you unlock from uh, having reputation with the dragon people, Valkyrie Accord or something like that. Uh, even if you do these, which are super easy and super fun, it makes me feel like a racer or something, maybe, maybe this is what uh, Formula 1 feels like. Uh, basically, if, even if you do this, which takes like, I don't know, 3 minutes, something like that, uh, it will still give you 10 sparks at least, so that's big poggers in the chat as well, so maybe, maybe do that as well, yeah, do this world quest, you don't have to PvP, you know. Now, if you insist on actually PvP for your sparks, uh, you should be doing it next to the Cobalt area, which is the PV slash PvP area. There's a lot of people fighting around the graveyard in that region because that's where people die and respawn. So with War Mode on, if you die around this area, you can uh, get killed by other people, which is how you get sparks. Uh, the thing here is... You will want to be on the outside of it, because if you are closer to the inside, you're gonna be tagged by the PvP region, which is the arena behind me in this video. But, however, if you are like on the outside where I am right now, you will only be fighting Alliance, for example. It takes a little bit to time out, but you know what I mean. Uh, as a whole, of course, I want to fight around this area. As an Alliance, you will want to do the same thing if you don't want to get smacked by a million people. And that's basically it. This is the area you want to go if you want to PvP. If you catch some somebody looking like this guy, just beat him up. You will run in your general direction. He's not gonna do a whole lot. He might stun you, might not stun you. He can't really do much. He's really bad at the game. He's probably never gonna get his sparks of life because he's terrible. Look at him. He's a pussy. Oh my god, look at him run, incredible behavior to be honest, imagine running from a survival hunter bro, like survival hunter is so trash right now, why do you run bro, just use your divine shield or something, but you, you get stunned, you get smacked in the face with a pole arm, big kill shot, big damage, you are dead, you give me your spark of life, life is good, he's gonna keep running, maybe the dragon made him run, who knows, that's gonna be it, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, I kiss you, you kiss me, give me a like, uh, I'll kiss you again if you give me a like, yeah, okay, bye.